All right, guys, just before this video starts, I've been streaming loads on YouTube, you've probably seen, but mainly on Twitch because I can't set the stream up properly on my YouTube. I don't know why, just the, the live stream for game stuff just does not work. So if you please go check out my Twitch, I'm really trying to grind on it at the moment. It's B17Y, I'm on there like every day from as many hours as possible. It was me, Lee Lockwood and Jesse last night on there playing Warzone and it was jokes. It became like second or third. It was literally until three in the morning, we was playing about four hours straight at the stream running. So you can go check that out, it's B17Y, please. It's linked in the description. Anyway, enjoy the video. Please stay safe with all this COVID-19 stuff. This is what I'm trying to do to occupy myself when I can't be outside working on my car. So, yeah, please do help support me. So, yeah, link down below. Any of you guys know how to fit a handbrake cable to a Fiesta's tape? Because I, I don't. I'm going to try and learn. I've watched some videos. I feel educated. I feel like I know what's going on. I'm probably not going to be able to do it. But. Don't know to a try and then do the rear ABS sensor as well. I don't know if I have the 10 mil for it or not, but I must do. I'm a bit gutted I'm not on the unit. I could have probably like bragged it and stayed up there. Because technically that is work. But um yeah. This car's filled with just shit. I can't even put that exhaust on. I've got the sleeve for it, but I haven't got any exhaust hangers. And I've got to pretty much drop the exhaust to do this anyway. So I feel a bit stupid putting the up bit on and I put a power flex hanger on underneath this. So that's gonna be a bitch to get off. Anyway, um, start it. Battery ain't dead. That's, that's, that's always a bonus. Um, gonna reverse this round, give myself some space, get my really shit jack out, jack it up, put the back on extra stands and hopefully get this done. Um, yeah. It's well hot today as well and this is now like quarantine period. So I can't go anywhere, that's what I'm doing outside my house. But it's hot, I took the aircon out of this car, I have regrets, but fuck it, race car, let's get this done. Goal far, still looking fresh though, innit? Jeez, that wrap. Pings. Pings. I know one side's definitely ripped out, but I thought it didn't work at all, but look, so this is up, all the way obviously. If I drop it, I roll, fully up, does sort of hold. So I think one side works, I know the other side's pretty ripped out, but I hopefully don't have to change the other side, but I guess, if I've got both in there, I'm not sure if I do or not. I might as well do both, but I think I've only got one. It's a full genuine part. Definitely just phlegm there, but yeah. I've just found like a big stick of wood there. So I'm gonna use that to wedge the front wheels to stop them from rolling. So I'm gonna wedge it quick. Let me just briefly pause this video to show you off these new extra wallets. Now, I have one here and I have another one in a box that I'm going to give away to a lucky winner and also a tracker. So, never mind that, let's get on about the wallets. So, they are slim, sleek, and they look awesome. Got a little pop button, so bang, my car's come out the top. Very nice, sleek design. They got a little cash bit. And the thing that makes it so much better than any other wallet is, say, I've lost my wallet, yeah? So, um, throw away. I've lost it. I need to find it. There's an app so you can track it for a little tracking slim card that goes in there. So if I say, ring wallet. That's done. Rings the wallet. Also, not only does it ring the wallet, it has a tracker in the wallet so I can watch the live location of where this wallet is at all times. And say I lose, the w lose my phone, I can make my phone ring from the wallet itself using the card inside. Now, the card that goes inside, you may even get some big bulky tracker, but it's not. I've got one here that's one of you guys will be able to win. Very nice, slim, sleek design. You can see how thin it is. It's thinner than that because that's just the cardboard holding around it. And you, you don't even notice it in your pocket. It's so much better than the original big bulky wallets that everyone has these days. If you want to grab one of these for yourself, links are down below and use the discount code TMY15 to save yourself some money. Now, let's get back to the normal video. It's like a good old days for the unit, isn't it? Lovely stuff. I've got two of them. Not too sure if there's one size left, one size right. The video I watched had different brackets to these anyway. But I think best bet is jack the rear up, see what the side that's already fitted is like, and then just copy that to the other side. I need to take this hoodie off because it's way too hot, but um, there's something wet in my car. Where was it? Oh god, this ain't going well. But yeah, I found some like, wet stuff. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it might be fuel to be honest. This jack is so shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, why didn't I bring the big boy home? 
Come on. Come on. Fucking hell. For some weird reason, you can only get it to the second height setting with them axle stands on that jack. Which is really annoying, because they're both from Halfords anyway, you'd think, yeah. Anyway, hopefully that's going to be high enough. If not, well then I'm out of luck, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go underneath now and have a look. I'm pretty sure there's already like two handbrake cables on the left hand side, just the right hand side and you're sorting out, but um, if you look up here you can sort of see where they've been ripped out, but I'm going to put some padding down here so I don't line like oil spills. So I'm in kind of a clean top from prior mic, do you know what I mean? Don't get ruined, so I need to find something. So I've worked out how it goes this side, but I think Ryan cocked this up when he fitted it, because Ryan's put the ABS sensor on, but if you see here, ABS sensor lines here. It has to go over that, because where I thought this goes on here, it goes on there instead, but you can't do one way or the other, because either way, if I put this on here, and you pinch them, put them on, I'm bending over that, so I think I need to undo that, you know, it's just like an 8 or 7 mil, and then rewire it through, I'll put the handbrake cable on, and then this, will, this needs to be over the top, not behind the back. So I'll have you know that was Ryan's fault, not mine. See, look, I'm fixing people's jobs, so I'm going to sort it out, and then I'm going to change that side. But at least I've noticed it now. Do you know what I mean? If anyone does need to change their ABS sensor, I need to change it on the other side, but it's a, uh, it's an eight mil. And uh, oh, there we go. I was going to say it needs to be a two-man job, but your boy got a, your boy got a right out of here. Got hella extensions on it. But you see it? Yeah, she's coming out. Voila, look at that boys, look at that flowingness. See, look at me, problems. I do realise, before anyone says in the comments, I should have just unplugged it from up there, but I couldn't really get to it, so I just went that route. But that side sorted, at least I know how to manipulate that side to the other. Uh, so yeah, this side's gonna be a pain in my ass. I may have to take this weird off just to get the ABS sensor out, because see up there, it's cable tied up, and just to plug it in, it's gonna be a lot easier if I just take this weird off, it's only four nuts. But I have noticed so I've come to take this off. Obviously, it's pretty much going to have no slack in it because it's not even attached. But I'll get this off quick. So that's off there. So, progress. Got them from down the top. So now I'll just unplug it up there for this ABS sensor. Um, one handbrake cable was out. That was one that was actually on the bit itself. This one was cable tied up, as you can tell, because it, this is one that got ripped out. And you see back here, I'm just going to start going through the clips and getting it out. It's quite hard to do the brightness today underneath this car, but um, it's just so sunny outside. But yeah, I may have to drop this back down. Like I said, power flex angles going to be horrible. And these shields look shit to do. I look sort of like an, a 10 mil. Um, maybe I'll just gun them all off quick. But yeah, and then it should meet down there. But I'm getting there. I'm, I'm learning, so I'm pretty impressed with myself. But yeah, getting all the shit off first. So, the handbrake stops here, the cables to the rear, so I probably didn't really even need to take it off, that was horrible to do, but um, yeah, so it's here, so as you can see, that is, that is, there's a big problem going on there, yeah, that's not meant to look like that at all. Um, so, plan's going to be to strip this side out, and then I guess it's going to match like that side, I think that's how it sits, because that one's still working. So, if I, there's loads of little clips that go all the way around here, uh, there's one there, and then I'll, I'll just start here for now as I'm lying here. I don't have much room, but luckily the tunnels give me some room. Right, like I said, I've never done one of these before. I think I'm doing alright, but I don't have much room lying under this car, so... I'm just doing what I can. <laughs> Alright, let's try to disconnect this. So I should just be able to get like a trim tool underneath here. Make sure I don't lose that. I 
just leave it on there for now. And then I'm hoping that this big old blue guy is going to come out. What I had to do was actually release this from there and then um, you can pull clips out that side, put some slack and then uh, you can just line it up to get through there. So now this side's dropped, I'm just going to see it comes along through here. It's pretty much just a little pull up clip that I've just put on which is annoying because I literally just put that on now to take it off and then take it off the back of that tension a bit. So I finally got this other side out. Um, that clip there where I put back on, it just would not come off. It must have broken up it on, so I had to snap that bracket off. But, um, this is the side where it's crashed and it yanked itself out. That's why we needed to change it. Um, and this is it compared to the new one, it's brand new. They're literally identical. Um, this side is like a, a sleeve, and I think, to stop it from rubbing, because this is the side that goes around the exhaust, so it goes up around that heat shield. And then, uh, yeah, this is the brand new side. So that's where that clip push clip can go back in. And uh, we're going to get that in there, so... Well, see, that's the old ones, these are new ones. But this is what I meant, like, you literally can't get these out. So, I'm guessing, because I only just tightened the handbrake cable and you can just buy one. And I'm guessing you just have to replace both sides with this one. But, uh, yeah, it's just this side. Yeah, it was done for. But, we've got a new one now, so I'm going to start getting it on. And I don't have anything to put on these, so I'm just going to slide these up, because I haven't got, like, a nut. I'm just going to cable tie around it. It's been hanging before and it's fine, but I just don't want it to damage, like, fall down and damage itself or anything, so. I'm not quite sure if what engine minute it worked back from, so I'm just going to start up this end. Because this is, like, the more tricky of sides. Just going to make sure I've got both sides on the right side. Should be able to slide them up there, but I'm going to assemble this blue bit first. So you get that through there and then I've got a clip here but I'm going to need both hands to put the camera down. You know when you're like, oh it's actually going sort of alright, like I'm, I'm making progress. And then you find out, even though you bought a Fiesta Mark 7 handbrake cable, it doesn't fit and it's the wrong one. Let me show you. Should have checked them when it was lying down but I forgot, because I'm an idiot. So. That is the same as this one, alright? When it gets to the sleeving ends, they both have the bracket there. And then, it should have that, but it doesn't on this one. And then, so there's the same length right now. It's that much longer. So this side that I've got lined up doesn't fit nowhere near there. Also, the ends, it's like that. But my old ones are, um, they're like hooked. So I'm kind of up shit creek. So I'm going to have to find the breakers now on Facebook because I'm not selling them. But which doesn't help as all at all is the fact that I can't get anything at the moment because of all this virus shit. It takes forever to arrive, and I've dropped everything. Everything's ready for it to go on. I now don't have the other side of the handbrake on either. So now I have zero handbrake. <laughs> my heat shield's down. My Exhaust is off, and I'm just sitting here like, why? Why me? For fuck's sake. This is why I shouldn't be left alone in stalking. Even though I think I'm doing well and I've learnt a lot. It's just shit like this, it's pissed me off. But I'm waiting on a call, and I'll find out what's going on. In the meantime, I might just take off the rear wheel and do the uh, sensor. For the, so then the ABS is on, and I have traction. You know, I don't need traction anyway, but I'll do it now. So for some reason, no one even on Instagram or Facebook pages, even breakers yards, I'm messaging. No one has these cables, yeah? So I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, I've hung the exhaust back up, I've literally put a cable tie around the mount and then onto the exhaust because that doing their mounts is horrible, the um, like Powerflex ones, trying to get them off and on. So the car's just going to sit here anyway, I can't drive anywhere. So I'm just going to leave that round that to chill here and then... I've just pushed everything up so it'll be fine. I'm gonna pull the tools out. I've disconnected the one that I started fitting up. I'm gonna message the company back. I bought it from Ford directly, so I'm trying to get a refund because it says Fiesta Mark 7 on the link, but it, it does not. And I've checked other people and it's not right. 
So I need to sort that out and I need to get a new one. But obviously Ford's shut at the moment, everywhere's shut, so I have nowhere to get them. And I need it to get the MIT pass as well, so it's just frustrating, man. Especially as I'm so close, but I've got the ABS sensor on. So when I drop this car down, turn it on and I'm going to check it. I'm hoping it should be alright. But uh, yeah, apart from that, I'm just going to pull the tools out quick and then set this down. Let's see if we actually achieved at least one thing today. I'm hoping we did. Ooh, cable tie down there. These are valuable. You keep hold of them. I ain't got many with me. All right. Um. Ah, shit. I still got an ABS light. Why have we got an ABS light for? It's plugged in. You're plugged in, mate. Unless it needs resetting. I don't know. Maybe it needs resetting, that coding. Uh, let's try, my traction control's turned off though. Oh, that's my music. So yeah, traction control, see what that's saying. All right, so let me turn that on and off now, so at least that's working, because the last time it was jammed on. So I can turn that off at least. So I've got an ABS light. I don't know why, because it's plugged in, unless it needs coding. Not too sure. It probably does. Oh, I stole it. Forgot I was in gear and something fell off the clutch, but I need to turn it off anyway, mm. so yeah. I didn't saw this ABS light because it's pissing me off now, but at least it's semi working because before it wouldn't let me do the traction, but now it does. Unless I just need to drive it and it'll maybe adapt to it, but I don't really want to drive it at the moment. <sighs> I love cars, they're so great. Mmm, yeah, number one. All dirty as well. Almost messed up my tattoo. It's not going well, mate. It's just not going well. Alright, let's pack up. I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done. I've just noticed these tips all hot. This one, not. A little bit of pressure, but... I, I remember one of my valves didn't work, but I think they've left it on shut. So I might drop this down and open it up. See if it makes much difference. Make it louder. I'm not sure you open the solenoid thing, but it's pretty easy to drop them. I might say that for another day, but yeah. Maybe we can get it louder without having to put the straight pipe on. So the straight pipe may be a bit too much, but this has got a nice tone to it at the moment. So if I can drop that, open it up so it's even louder and race, then then we're laughing. But yeah, anyway. Let's finish up this video, boys. Thank you all for watching, smash the like, I'm really sorry that we did, wasn't able to get as much done in the ST as I hoped, but I did as much as I could, at least it's stripped down now, at least the ABS sensor's in there, but it's just a pain in the ass, really, isn't it? Shit happens. So yeah, smash the like, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, check out Patreon if you haven't already. Also, I do have new stickers coming, um, they may be out by the time this video comes out, so if they are, I'll leave them in it, but yeah, thank you for the support. Keep safe and streetwise and all that. Sick.